I want to give you first a bit more about potency selection and dose selection in general. Um, as I have been going up in practice and more practice practice, I have also changed it somewhat. But why I changed it, why I changed it was it always because I wanted to be better for the patient and hopefully somewhat better for me too. <laughs> and time-wise, I mean, time-wise. I have too much work to do that I just trying to find how can I create more time to work. <laughs> but so and without really giving a disadvantage to the patient, of course, because that's for me sacred. I don't want to change that. I want you to know that if you talk about dose and potency selection, there's always fighting between the homeopaths, you know, and there's always has been such thing. It always was between high potency prescribers and low potency prescribers. However, what we should do is thinking, there's no doubt that everyone, high and low potency prescribers, can do good work and can have success. But I want you to be able to prescribe with all of it. And then you have a choice for your patients, which is based not on just what you want to do, but what really is good for the patient, and still according to the organ, still based on our principles. That's for me the most important. Without, we don't have to get in a fight. I must say with all these years, over all these years in my own practice, it is too bad, I mean, I loved Hahnemann. It's too bad that I really not always kind of believed or did what he was doing, literally. And later I did it, and then I always was saying to myself, he really was right. <laughs> you know, I can't believe that for whatever reason I didn't do that right away. Or obviously the fifth edition prescribing, I didn't know about it until I had to, I don't know how I discovered it. Uh, that for me was too bad I didn't come earlier. If you're used to it, I'm so used to it for all these years where it, it comes automatic because you know it's more easy for you if you have a consistent schedule. So what I try to hear to put forward is like saying, okay, this to the left side I say something, this is the normal thing how you start every case. The right, like 80% of the cases or 90% of the cases, this is how, what you do. First visit, second visit, third visit, okay? To the right side are the exceptions, right? The 10% exceptions. The, and then you do this, this, and this. I, want, I made it like that so that it becomes steady for you, that you don't get too confused, that it wants to go from teaspoons to do drops to a thing. Once you get used to it, once you have a good idea about all this, how this all works, you can, it really becomes fantastic because there is no such thing as consistent. Every patient is different the way they react, and you can you can really adjust to it. But once you get used to it, right? This this now for the fifth and the sixth edition, even for the LMs, okay, it's the same thing, uh, similar thing. So keep that in mind. Okay, now we're going to start how you should do it, like even with the chronic cases, right? Now for 90% of the cases, this is what you do. Right? And it's not the exceptions. 90% of the cases, you start with the 30C potency. You take two pellets from a, uh, put them, uh, you take two pellets and put them in a bottle of uh, 125 milliliter or 100 milliliter, I mean four ounces or eight ounces. You know, usually I do eight ounces. Um, and you take directly a half teaspoon from the remedy solution bottle. RSB is a remedy solution bottle, okay? Anyway, I phased them out rather soon. Though from time to time I did go to the endocrinologist to have the thyroid levels checked. And the levels were always normal. The TSH, basal, T3, T4, all the levels were always normal. Questions, my dear Bea? We have already many rubrics now, but we are not even started to really understand the person. There is one symptom that has to get your attention, of course, too. And it's a very important one because it does straight go to the nucleus of her suffering. I'm not sure if you know which one. It is something that is so...